Hi, I'm Ashley, and today I'm going to show you how to use dollar items to make an awesome witch's cauldron. Okay, first I'll start with telling you how to do this. I just took hot glue and basically just stripped it down, and then I took some green paint and just painted it on there. It was really easy to do. It only took me maybe not even 10 minutes to do. And I got this so I could stick these into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this, that hot glue. Go ahead and glue this down in the bottom of the cauldron. that down for a minute. And I got these rocks to kind of weigh it down so it doesn't blow over in the wind. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in there. I might need to cut it open up a little bit more. There we go. as even as I can. Then I got this tablecloth at the Dollar Tree and it's kind of like a thicker flannel tablecloth. So I'm just going to use it to put in here to just cover cover all of that. And I actually, I might glue it down in there too, just to make sure it stays secure. Actually go ahead and stick the legs in there first. I think that would be a lot easier. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just kind of going with it. Then I'm just going to take this and take it around. Yeah, I think that's going to work a lot better. Just tuck it down here in the back. Be less visible. I take my hot glue and just kind of secure a few places down. Just to make sure that it doesn't come out of there. Got to do the front and back too.
think that'll be good. And I got these foam balls and I just painted them green. And we're just gonna glue these around it to make it look like bubbles. Um, just a heads up, the foam balls really absorb paint. So you're gonna need a lot of paint <laughs> to do it. And it's not the easiest thing to paint. So if you find something else you can use besides this, that would probably be a little bit better. But we're going to glue these around, and then I got these eyeballs too that we're going to glue. And these spiders, I'm going to glue these on the front though. So we'll just get started. And you can just glue these wherever you want, wherever you think that they would look the best. And you don't have to use this stuff. You can find whatever you want, just whatever you like basically. But this is just what I saw that. I thought would look good. Let me turn it to the side so you might see it a little bit better. There. Oh, move this back here. You don't have to secure these legs better. They're kind of wanting to fall down. Basically just glue these wherever you want. I kind of got the front done as far as the bubbles go. Just, it's not an exact science, it's just creativity. So I basically got all the bubbles glued on there. So now we're going to start with the eyes. And the same as the bubbles, you just kind of glue them wherever you think it will look good. to glue them in going different directions so it looks a little bit more real. Okay. I 
basically got the front done. Now it's time to move on to the back. thing about hot glue is it gets strings everywhere. Okay, now I have the back done. And you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to glue some spiders onto it. And I got the orange spiders to go with the orange stockings. But now that I'm thinking of it, I kind of wish I would have got the purple ones. But I think this will look, it'll look good. And just glue their legs. I just add some extra glue just to make sure it's secure. And the glue strings don't matter as much with this because, hey, it's a spider. <laughs> clean up the glue strings off of it. I mean, if you want to leave them on there to look like spider webs, I mean, I guess that would be a good idea, but I'm just going to, mine's a little bit too overboard, so. Yeah, I don't know why I do too. 
too. I was going to put another one right here, but I think we'll do that with it. It's this good. Okay, I'm going to recap. Um, I don't recommend getting the inflatable witch legs. Maybe try to find some that are fabric that have like the cloth through them or wood or something because I don't think these hold up very good. And at least the ones I got, they're a little bit too big for this. But I got this. All of this stuff I got at the Dollar Tree, except for these I got at the Dollar General. But I used hot glue and I just dripped this down and then painted it. And then I just got the foam balls and painted those. I would recommend probably trying to find something else if you can. If not, this will work. You just have to use a lot of paint because it absorbs a lot of it. And then the eyeballs. And you can use basically anything you want to add into the cauldron. This is just what I wanted to do. This is like my idea. But, and then I just did the spiders. You don't have to do the spiders. You can do whatever you want. Just leave it blank. If you're going to put it outside, I do recommend putting rocks or something down in the bottom of it. Just so it won't tip over. It gives it a little extra weight. But so, I mean, all in all, I like it. I think it looks good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm not a professional or anything, but I think this was a pretty easy tutorial to follow just for, you know, normal craft people. But thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.